Hello, I'm Atubo George. Now, we've been talking about seed time and harvest, you know, how to work practically in, in, in the blessing of God or in the prosperity of God. And I said something yesterday that, look, every money leaving you is a seed. It doesn't matter whether you give it in church. And now, now that's why I said earlier, I think on, on Monday I said, religion has, has destroyed a lot of people's minds. So you think it's only in church that you can pay tithes. So you, you think it's only when you give in church that you pray concerning it. You don't realize that whatever is leaving you, see, is the blessing of the Lord. And you've got to release it by faith and then you've got to expect a harvest. Now, watch this. As a child of God, why should we pay tax? Because the word of the Lord commanded us. Are you getting what I'm saying? You know, Jesus said something. Jesus said, Give to every man that asks of you. And from him that takes away your goods, don't ask him back. Now, that's a very powerful statement. Everyone who asks of you, give to them. And then anyone who takes from you, now that includes stealing from you. See, when, when someone steals from you, Jesus said, don't ask him back. Now for Jesus to say, don't ask him back, it's just possible you will catch the thief. See? But he said, don't ask him back. Why? I'll tell you why. Because the moment that thing left you, either by your will or it was stolen from you, it becomes a seed. Now, you will do yourself good. And, oh, you need to listen to me now. You will do yourself good. Even if something was stolen from you, you will do yourself good to come to that place where you take that word that Jesus spoke and say, Lord Jesus, you said, if anybody takes away my good, I shouldn't ask him back. So, Father, this money that I've been taking from me, or this car that I've been taking from me, or this whatever I was taking from you, I release it as a seed right now in the name of Jesus, and I expect a blessing because his word says, seed time and harvest, then go to sleep. He said, what are you talking about? I'm telling you the truth. Now, the Lord taught me this you know the, the reality of this and i've been walking in it ever since and i'll tell you this truth being broke is not a part of my life never i said never now i remember talking to someone one time and then you know the person was saying oh you know pastor how, how do you live you know how do you live your life and how do you do this faith thing and i said the difference is the difference between me and you is very simple and it's not God. The difference is understanding. Now, you are working and then at the end of the month, you get a salary, even if it's one million naira. See, and that you get at the end of the month. For some reason, the, your mentality becomes gauged or caged along that line. See, every 30 days, one million naira. So your reasoning functions around that your calculation functions around that now i don't know how much is going to come in today <laughs> see but i know something is going to come in so my my thinking is not limited to anything my thinking is limited to god's ability now you cannot think about the, the limit of god's ability now, because I have worked myself to trust in his ability. Now, what's his ability? If I need one million naira right now, he would supply it to me. If I need whatever I need right now, he's going to supply it to me. Now, the difference is this. While I can, maybe all I have right now is one million naira. That's all I have. And then there's a need to spend one million naira. I will not be afraid to spend it. Knowing that he, you see, he is going to supply immediately. Now, you are going to think, ah, before supply may come. Not because you, you, you hate God, but somehow your mind has been caged to think like this until you free yourself. Now, you are going to think, you are going to calculate how long it's going to take you to recover this one millionaire. But I don't think that way. I just think by the time the next need shows up, he supplies also. Now, that's the difference. 
Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, I know that when I pay a bill, you're traveling somewhere, you pay the fare, you, pay the, you buy the air ticket, you, whatever it's going to cost you to go to that place, do you know it's a seed? So when you spend that money, listen, every money, except you're a thief, and as a child of God, you shouldn't be a thief. Every money that comes into your hand, do you know the moment it gets into your hand is holy and it's blessed? Now that's why we tithe. See, we, we tithe because we recognize that there is a God factor in every money that comes to us. Now the moment we tithe, every spending we spend becomes a seed. Maybe it's my rent I'm paying, it's a seed that I'm sowing. So I say, I don't get, how, how do you call this a seed? Listen, when you walk like this, I'm telling you the truth. You will never know what it is to be broke. Tomorrow, we are going to continue this tomorrow. And let's see how God's going to help us round it off. God bless you. This is Atuba Judge. Stay blessed. Till tomorrow. Bye-bye.